Hello and welcome, I'm your code monkey. Hello and welcome. You know what? I'm tired of programming, I'm tired of making games. Let's do something different. Hello and welcome, I'm your code monkey, and this is now a cooking channel. We're gonna make a very simple, very tasty meal. So I've got a bunch of chicken breasts right here, then two sweet potatoes, an onion, some salt and some herbs. So first wash the potatoes, then slice them with a nice knife. Cut the onion in half and then into tiny pieces. Heat up the pan with a little bit of olive oil and throw some chicken on there. Then season it with some salt or whatever else you want. Flip them over after a while. Then throw the potatoes and the onion. Just keep it moving around and finally throw it on the plate. And there it is, a nice and nutritious tasty meal. And of course, they eat something as well. All right, that was delicious. Although, a bit of a problem. I really only know how to cook about three or four things, so probably not enough to make an entire YouTube channel. Huh, let's try something else. All right, so this is now a car review channel. I've got a Renault Clio from 2017. It's a manual 1.5 with 110 horsepower and with the GT Line trim interior. It's a pre center car, but it's pretty fun. All right, this is now a running channel. Running is actually the simplest exercise of all. You don't really need any equipment or anything at all. Just go out the door and start running. Super simple. Just take it slow at the start. Don't overdo it. Basically just start by running a couple hundred meters. Then run a 1K, 5K, 10K, eventually a half marathon, and finally a full marathon. One of the things that I love about running is how it's pretty much on autopilot. So once you start running, you just keep running and it's all super simple. So personally for me, I love to listen to tons of podcasts while running and two hours really just flies by. Right, this is now an electronics channel. So over here I've got an Arduino and I've got a Raspberry Pi. With these two you can really build pretty much anything you can imagine. If you want you can make something like a simple light switch or you can make a full on autonomous robot. Now one question that a lot of people have is what exactly is the difference between these two? Well, the Arduino, this one is actually a microcontroller, whereas the Raspberry Pi, this is basically a full-on computer. So the Arduino has a bunch of pins that you can control with some simple code, and the Pi has a complete operating system. So it's got a connection to connect all kinds of USB, all kinds of Ethernet ports, you can connect HDMI, mini USB, you can connect some audio, tons of stuff. Although, like I said, you can build literally anything you want with either of them, really. But in general, you want an Arduino for simple cases like simple controls, simple servos, and simple sensors. And you want a Raspberry Pi for anything that involves some kind of really complex logic. Alright, so this is now a dog training channel. And training dogs is actually quite simple. All you need is two things. You need a dog and you need some treats. So this is now a reading channel. So here are five books that I highly recommend. Starting off with Code Complete. This is a really awesome, really detailed code book. Look at this, really super thick. Reading through this entire thing and absolutely learning it, that one massively improved my quality of my code. So if you're a programmer, I highly recommend it. Next up, we have The Daily Stoic. It's a really great book to read every single day. Basically, there's a single passage for each day. So it's really all about focusing on the things you can control and not worrying about the things you can't control. I read one page every single day in the morning. It's a great way to get the brain set up. Next, here is the Dragon Ball manga. Now, this is a classic. It's really a 10 out of 10. Look at that. It's really awesome, really perfect. So it's really super cool. That's really it. Really awesome, really cool. 
Next up is the Millionaire Fastlane. I've read a bunch of entrepreneurship books and this is definitely my favorite one. It is really great for learning a different mindset if you're interested in becoming something of an entrepreneur. And finally, how to win friends and influence people. This is one where the title sounds a bit nefarious, but it's really a very positive book. It's all about learning to listen to others and focus on others more than you do in yourself. So yep, five books I highly recommend. All right, so this is now a fitness channel. Lifting is actually pretty much a video game. It's pretty much just an RPG. Basically by every rep you make, you gain a little bit of experience. So it's really that simple. You just keep repping out rep after rep. And eventually after a while, you gain enough experience and you level up. Oh. Then you pick up something heavier and just keep grinding out more EXP. The best thing is how there's no level cap. So you can just keep grinding out, keep leveling up until the end of your life. All right, this is now a weather report channel. So as you can see, Lisbon has a maximum of 15 degrees and it's actually going to be quite rainy. Then up towards Porto, it's a little bit colder. Definitely make sure you wear a jacket and down towards Algarve, also quite a bit cold. All right, this is now a figurines channel. So starting off with a really awesome Mini Goku and Mini Frieza. Really just the classic figurines, both of them look really awesome. Then here is a really impressive Vegeta, standing very tall, very strong, extreme amounts of detail in the hair, all the muscles and everything, really perfect. And then here we have a Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I gotta say Super Saiyan 4 is one of my favorite designs. Look at that, it's really so awesome. Even if you're one of the people who's not a fan of GT, you have to admit this is one of the coolest designs ever. Then for something different, here's a little tiny Nosuke. Yet another really awesome character design, looks really cool. Or here is a super cool Rengoku. It's quite amazing how a character can have such a little time on screen and become a favorite for pretty much anyone. And not really figurines, but here are some pretty nice Lambos. So here's a really nice Huracan and a really nice Aventador. Wait a minute, what day is it today? Oh, well that makes a lot of sense.